welcome to another episode of Ask the Doc. I am your host, Jennifer Filson, and today I have with me Stacy Brake of Anxiety Detox. Welcome, Stacy. Thank you so much. I really appreciate getting to talk to you and being here today. Oh, we're delighted to have you. It's always so fascinating to hear what everyone's doing across the country. And you're in Beaufort, North Carolina. Tell us a bit about Anxiety Detox and what you do in your business. Sure, sure. So I've been in the mental health profession for 18 years. And um, one of the things that I saw or noticed was that anxiety was on the rise. And this was before the pandemic, right? Like it was already rising. Um, Our community had a lot of collective trauma, some pretty uh, major events, major hurricanes, a couple of other things. And so I was seeing it in my practice. um, I was working as a school counselor and it was just growing and growing and growing. And when I would make referrals, I found that a lot of people just couldn't go to therapy. They didn't have the time. They didn't have the resources, couldn't take off of work or, you know, just couldn't get in. Right. Cause the, the wait list was six months or so. And so I just became really interested in finding resources and strategies that I could share that, you know, wouldn't require you to go to therapy, but would give you some strategies and some tools to feel more joy in your life without, um, you know, without that delay or without that extra hurdle of getting into therapy. Um, So I taught a lot of these things to kindergartners and to their parents and anybody who, you know, asked for help with anxiety. So it just became sort of a specialty. And then I created an online training so that, you know, even more people, so they wouldn't need me, they could just find this training online and, you know, get the tools and strategies they need to, you know, address their anxiety, feel more joy, and um, just live life to the fullest. Whoa. Okay. That's so cool. First off, I love it that you're working with kids as well as adults. Like It sounds like you started with the children, but then you're working with everybody. And you're absolutely right. Hurricanes are traumatic, especially in the lowlands, right? I mean, there's, you know... The people in the Midwest, of course, they have to deal with tornadoes, which scare me way more than the idea of a hurricane. Because growing up in Florida, eh, whatever, it rains for three days. (laughs) But yeah, I mean, you're right. When you have a whole community affected by a massive hurricane, that's a big deal. And what I'm really impressed with is... Yes, COVID has actually started the conversation of mental health because when you were saying, oh, I can't get in, you know, when people were saying, I can't get in, I don't have the time. I remembered when I was a kid and I was thinking that, boy, therapy sounds really good. It was so shameful and you didn't want to uh, make the family look bad by going to therapy because that might risk the family name being tarnished, which might sound extreme, but that was kind of the the gist of how it felt when I was a kid. But now, now we're talking about it so openly and so forthright. And I'm really impressed by how so many young people are so mindful and self-aware of where they're at and how they state what they need. It's, it's phenomenal what you're doing. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm with you. I remember that time, right? Where, where, you know, only, you know, only the most extreme situations or the people that we were all kind of afraid of or whatever, um, were the ones right. going to therapy. But the truth was, you know, we just weren't talking about it, right? Like you said. And so it's just great that that, that conversation is opening up and we still have a long way to go, but um, we're on the way, we're on the path, which is really exciting. That is exciting. Okay. So I always love to hear like little success stories. And I know that with, you know, uh, you have to be protective of privacy, but do you have any little success stories that you want to share with us about how you've helped someone find more joy or overcome that anxiety and get rid of it forever? (laughs) I don't know if forever is possible. (laughs) Well, you know, you, you make such a great point, right? Like anxiety just any emotion is, is normal. That's part of the human experience. The question is, what do we do with it? 
Um, and so my goal isn't to pretend that we can never experience that feeling, but to know what to do with it and to not be, you know, guided by it, not be, you know, um, led by our anxiety to still be able to live a full life and know how to manage it and work through it. Um, but one of my favorite success stories, um, and I, I won't give the name obviously, but, um, but a woman that I worked with, um, she, she has worked through my program and we did some private coaching as well. And she messaged me about a month ago and she said, you know, I just have to tell you this. She said, you know, I wanted help with my anxiety. There were lots of things that I was hoping to manage and it's worked. But what I didn't anticipate, she said, I had never made this connection. But as a kid, I had always felt so much anxiety going to school, like my belly would always hurt. I always felt discomfort. And as an adult, as a parent, I found that when I would take my child to school, I had the same thing happen. Like just walking him to school, I felt it all over again. She said, I don't wow. have that anymore. She said, for the first time in my life, I've been able to walk my child to school and just have fun, just enjoy it. So that's probably one of my favorites. Wow, that's a good story. You know, it, it, it come to think of it, there's so many reasons to be anxious while walking to school, right? Oh, I didn't study for that test. Or uh, sadly, oh, I wonder if there's going to be an active shooter. I mean, like it's it's not exactly a walk in the park going to school nowadays. Um, wow. So if you could give us a little bit of advice, like to get through a day, you know, um, if we have anxiety, is there something quick that we might be able to do to just at least acknowledge it and keep it at, at, a, at a lower volume? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Absolutely. I think one of one of my favorite strategies, and this is one that I've talked to five-year-olds and grown-ups, um, it's really connected to what we've learned from neuroscience. So we know that our inhale is connected to our sympathetic nervous system, which is the fight or flight. And our exhale is connected to our parasympathetic nervous system, which is that rest and digest. So if you start to feel activated, if you feel your heart rate, you know, speed up, um, one of the easiest ways that you can start to regulate that is through your breathing. So you can actually do what I call 510 breathing to slow down your heart rate, regulate your breathing, and it actually activates that parasympathetic nervous system. So you can settle, you know, what's going on in your brain enough to you know, make good decisions, feel a little bit better about where you are physically. Um, and so it's just breathing in for, in for five and out for 10. So inhale five, exhale for 10. And five and 10 is kind of arbitrary, but really the goal is just to have your exhale extend longer than your inhale. So that five and 10 just gives you a reference point. Um, but really, you know, I've used this personally, like standing in the grocery store, I'm feeling impatient or, you know, agitated or like, I need to hurry. I'm like, okay, just, you know, if I just take that time to just exhale a little bit longer than my inhale, it immediately starts to slow me down and I can feel those effects um, and then move forward. I love that. Okay. That, I was doing it while you were saying it. That's so cool. Yeah. I love that. Well, Listen, how do people get a hold of you? I, I believe that the name of your company is Anxiety Detox, but they go to stacybrake.com, correct? And her, her last it. name is like the brakes on your car, B-R-A-K-E. So stacybrake.com, go check her out. And everybody, thank you so much for joining us today on Ask the Doc. Stacy, thank you for being here. If you want to find out more about tools on how to reduce your anxiety and just manage it and have a joyful, happy life. Please do find out more about Stacy Break and Anxiety Detox on Buzz TV. So what you do is you go to iwantabuzz.com, find out more about her and be in touch because she's got some great tips. Thanks so much, everybody, and have a great day.